안녕하세요. 제 이름은 남입니다. Hi, it's Nami and my roots are still yellow. So I'm going to tone them. I had a hat on today, uh, which is why I have hat hair. But I'm going to tone my roots right now because I find that they are still quite yellow. So let's take a quick before shot. So I've actually gone and shampooed with Fanola's No Yellow Shampoo. Here's a clip of how the shampoo looks like on my hair. And this is how the shampoo turned out on the rest of my overprocessed hair. So it looks like it still did the same amount of staining that it did on my overprocessed ends, but on my roots, there isn't as much of a grab because of the health and integrity of this hair. It didn't soak up a lot of the pigment like it did down here. So I'm still gonna go ahead and tone my roots. Let me just throw in this bio silk to my ends just so they separate better. It's so purple. I like this purple shampoo because it doesn't even tone. It's just that my hair is over processed and overly porous. You can see right when it stops being overly porous, like right here. And then from here down, it just totally grabs the pigment. I guess this is goodbye to the pink. If you ever find that you have a tangle in your hair, don't rip through it. Slowly detangle it from the bottom. This is what I'm using for my toner. I use my toothbrush and I just completely flatten one side of this tube. See how it's like oozing out? That's all products. I am using this whole tube because I think last time I did not use enough product, which is why my hair did not tone at all. Well, almost at all. Previously before that, when my hair toned well, I believe that I did use the whole tube. I am gonna use an ammonia-based developer. This one's 20 volume, a little bit at a time. And just to cancel out a little bit more of the yellow, I'm going to throw in this lilac. Just a tad bit, tiniest bit of Olaplex, as I am working with ammonia. I feel like it's a little bit runnier than I would have wanted it, but I still think it's okay. It's definitely a lot more solid than it was with the non-ammonia developer. It does help to have really tight sections to initially get the outskirts of the sections. I feel like I made it too watery. I feel like I should be starting at the back as per your recommendations, but for some reason I always start at the front. I don't know if this will come out okay. I think I watered it down too much again. Let's throw on a mask. This one's from Fanola, it's the Resurrecting Mask. Onto our ends while the roots develop. And get editing. I'm thinking I can leave this on for about an hour so that the areas that I did later has time to catch up to the areas that I did first. Even though the areas that I did first will already be done developing. I think the tone is okay. It's just a matter of will it stay because I still see quite a lot of orange. My hair is dry now and I don't know if you can tell, it looks super platinum, like way platinum. It looks like Silver. Even though the top is still a tad bit yellow, a lot of it has died down. I think about half of the yellow. I don't mind this. I think I'm okay with this much yellow, but next time I do want to tone it a little stronger than this. But the rest of my hair, literally it's bye bye pink. Like it's, it's so silver. I like it though, I like it. It's been a while since I've been this tone of hair. I think it's a nice canvas to throw on my next color. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Bye. Today's feature comment is from Snowy Sapphire. You should never use 40 developer, ever. I cringed so hard, girl. Thank you for your concern, Snowy. Um, I tried, I tried, I tried not to use 40 volume one time 
and I used 20 and uh, basically if you want to know what happened this is what happened like nothing happened that's what happened <laughs> I actually caused more damage to my hair because I had to bleach it eight times so Korean hair you have to you have to use 40 volume or else you won't get any lift um, I do hear recommendations of using a strong bleaching powder as well to get that high lift but that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed if you'd like to see more definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to become part of our nacho fam shout out to all our nacho fam sorry that was really weird uh, I also post every day on Instagram Twitter Facebook and snapchat so I will check you out on those platforms if they are platforms that you use and that's it, so I'll see you next time. Bye!